voltage that it was creating is done. There's this huge goat head inside of inverted pentagram that has its tongue sticking out like it's dead, and it says um, uh, death to Valderas in abyssal. Okay. And it, it would have taken these little creatures days to paint this much. Um, and you're not liking how much red was used in this uh, abyssal graffiti on the inside of the wall? Mm hmm. Elden. Yes. Yes. Do we have time to redecorate? No. Okay. Who knows? We need to get the... What we know is they fight at night. So let's get there before there is a fight at night. Conserve your powers as much as possible. Move again. I would also, as your, as your, as your humble expert... Oh, quit that. <laughs> um, what do you need? I would recommend um, being nice to the woodsman when you meet him. Of course. We'll be in their land, their territory for now. Hey, is this artwork interesting? Chase is yelling from above the wall. <laughs> like he's sitting on the crenellation yelling down at you. Uh, Pebble goes flying over his head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he does this little, this little kind of float fly down towards you. He, he lands on Land's horn. Is this artwork interesting? No. We need uh... to leave. I, th I thought I kind of sensed uh, something moving around in there. What's his perception? Nine. Can he see imps that are invisible? <laughs> Little bastards. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're around here somewhere. <sighs> Time is it? Uh... 10 o'clock in the morning. If I was you, I'd pack up and go before I came back bored. Uh, fires threatening them in abyssal. Okay. Give me an intimidate check. <laughs> yeah! Land language, yeah! He books up spear, yeah! And says something really rude in, in uh, abyssal. abyssal. Okay, so you can aid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you are you, you gonna? You don't want this aid. You don't you don't want this aid. No, you can aid. <laughs> Go. You guys are yelling. At, you guys are yelling at the graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> We're tilting at windmills right now. <laughs> it's a great saying. Oh, somebody please think of the children. <laughs> I don't. I I don't. He doesn't, aid, hinder, he doesn't hinder it. But okay. I do not hinder. <laughs> Fifteen. Boogie, 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 boogie. Okay. Um, if there are any invisible demons out there listening, you know, they, they don't, don't do anything. Uh, if they get within 20 feet, let me know. Vitara knows. And then... Oh, because he's got uh, blind, just, sense. blind sense. Okay. Yeah, and we'll jog on. Okay. Chase, Chase uh, um, uh, buggers off ahead of you guys. You eventually get to the climb, which I think we establish is... Doable do by with... all people in the party. Yeah, even with yeah. rope. With rope. Okay, someone's got yeah. rope. Yeah, we actually yes. carry rope since our last campaign. <laughs> that one time you didn't have rope. Yeah, and uh, we all got screwed. Yeah, that one. Someone's got um, rope on the character sheet, right? Like, who has me rope? Up. Is the is is maybe the question? Give I'm me a ask. sec. I believe it's so, I believe it's uh, Lan, but Lan has rope. Okay. Oops. Give me a perception. Or actually, give me a percentile roll as you guys are climbing down. Uh, Elden uh, has rope as well. This climb okay. has actually become a little bit easier because it looks like this is also how people from Defender's Heart leave the city. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a DC 13 on this slope. Do you want a perception check? You said, Marty. No, a percentile roll. Um, a percentile. Oh, okay. A, a, uh oh, uh oh, oh, the bad man is here. Roll. Or the, or okay. the random. It Adam, go ahead, good. man. Okay, I will roll. Ha! 
46. Okay. Um, while there are tracks that lead uh, up to the other side and more so that lead in and out of the breach of the outer city wall, uh, there's nothing that's going on here. You do see signs of like pulleys, winches, uh, barrels, uh, and carts that may have um, uh, cart tracks. Like they are yeah. definitely using this this particular climb down that you um, may have discovered for the people of Defenders Heart. The climb yeah. up isn't as well um, Worn. traveled. Yep. So land runs up, he plants the hook, we climb up. Okay, Chase is already sitting on top of a building. Yeah, I, I took a fly around. Uh, I don't see much up ahead here in South uh, Swordboro. Keep moving. Yeah, just there's just a car <laughs> at the side of the road, you know. Alarming its way through. <laughs> Alarming its way. <laughs> way through life. you got to be kidding me. At least it's got kind of an asthmatic horn, at least what comes through. <laughs> it's like a little sad, like a little old beetle or something. <laughs> <sighs> I can't wait to move. Um, Aren't you moving further downtown? Uh, I'm moving downtown Seattle as opposed to downtown small outskirts of Seattle. Okay. It may be noisier, but it may be quieter. I don't know. Depends. Uh, are you thinking? In, uh, anyways, let's yeah. Pick, yeah. get, get well, a high well, rise way up high. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's move our guys. Uh, we're gonna make our way. This is this. We also know this is connected, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we've never. Uh, I'm we've sorry, I was zoomed it. in too far. Dude. Sorry, I'm um, looking to the southeast of uh, Wood, Wood, Woodsman. Uh, when you went through Woodman's. the, um, when you went through this neighborhood before, you didn't go too close to the Woodsman's Market. You are not okay. certain. But okay, so let's aim at that spot. Okay, as you're traveling through, uh, Chase does come back um, right away. Oh, I think I found something. <laughs> Uh, right. there's, there's a bridge, but it's kind of a bridge that, um, what do you call that? It's a, uh, a doodle bridge? It's a hanging bridge. Is that what you mean? A doodle bridge. Uh-huh. And the doodle bridge is up. A drawbridge. Yeah, that's what I said. All right. Um, he looks at you like, what? <laughs> well, we we need to see if they can lower the doodle. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's this big thing made out of wood. It's like just standing there all. Okay, uh, let's. Elden's golem? going to. Uh, Elden's going to stealth. <laughs> Elden's going to stealth his way through to to take a look at what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, so why don't I find a token for what I'm talking about? Twenty nine stealth. Yeah, we smash his golem. Screw you, Woodman. <laughs> okay, uh, there is what at first you thought was, um, uh, there is a wooden platform bridge, and it looks like there's okay. a winching mechanism that that raises that raises a uh, a part of the bridge up that spans a large cavern separating the two uh, the two districts uh, or the two neighborhoods. Okay, uh, and we'll call this um, we'll call this the Doodle Bridge because <laughs> that's, that's what it is now. Uh, I'll put it in quotes because <laughs> that's that's what Chase called it. Um, <laughs> Uh, there is a man standing on the other side of the bridge. Um, you thought you thought for a moment it was just a, a, a very large kind of construction worker type build. Um, but it's not. Give me a knowledge. Arcana? Well. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I can give you knowledge. Religion. 28. All right, that'll do. If, if I can okay. see it from the from no, from this, this is back. this is Elden saying that he snuck ahead, and I guess I snuck ahead. I've got dungeoneering. 
Yep. I've got Dungeoneering. So, um, and... it, 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 its features are all angular. It is in humanoid shape. I, uh, you thought that it was holding on to a hammer, but maybe one of its fists is actually much larger, and it's kind of turned into like a mallet end. Um, it's, a it's, it's about it's about seven feet tall. Um, it looks like some of the pieces of the of the humanoid are made from different shades of wood. Actually, it looks like a sculpture. It looks it looks like a wooden sculpture that is standing guard at the other end of the drawbridge. So the drawbridge is up, and there's one guard on the other end. There's not another man there. Nope. They're right. guarding. They're guarding against your side. Again, from us. Yep. Okay. Um, and here is where they had that uh, that demon that was dragging people out at night and, and making us uh, like a. Um, we burned. We burned where he was. Like he was putting their skin together, and we burned that thing down. Right. That's where this that was, was happening. That was the stable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The thing was care. It was collecting animal and. Um, uh, humanoid corpses. The Doodle so, Bridge probably prevented them from being attacked by that. So, them, Marty, survival tracking. What's going on with uh, what's been passing through, like uh, to that bridge? Uh, can can I do that? Like, is there enough dirt, or yeah, is there? Yeah, uh, sure. And uh, do I get survival? Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm adding my bonuses to. I'm. I mean, by the way, I am adding bonuses to stealth and all that for uh, world wound. Yes. I will tracking one d twenty plus twelve. Okay. Three one. What's been going on? When was it? Uh, nothing in the last couple of days. And and we took out that thing like a, like weeks ago, right? I'd have to go back in our notes. Um, I think it's like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So I actually don't think it, I don't think I don't think it was that long ago. You're okay. asking when when was the date that you well you've you've got access to the journal so you can you can answer yeah, that yourself if you if you can find it faster than I will but I will look it up for you. It's it's okay it's it's days so it's, uh, they've come you through. Strike after out, we you strike out and clear the sword sword the the South Swordboro on the eighty. Eighth day of summer, uh, and it's now the third day of autumn. So that was five days ago. Oh. Okay. Um, and what was it that came through here? No, what nothing has come through here in the last couple of days. That's what your that's what your oh, role. Uh, but is there is there any anything that can tell what it was that used to, or is just like footprints? It, it looks like a natural trail that may have been Got made it. out of a road that was separated by a chasm. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, Eldon's going to get onto Borogard. Okay. And uh, up approach the uh, um, drawbridge. Okay. You, you, you scamper out with Beauregard out under the drawbridge. The gap... So the, the drawbridge... Uh, it's it's like a wooden bridge where a section has been sort of lifted up so that the the bottom of the section is facing you. It's very uninviting. Right. Hail. And, and you can kind of like stick your head around to have a look to see what this big wooden thing is doing. It's standing mm -hmm. off of the bridge, on onto the onto the onto the the cobbled ground, and is just staring just straight forward and not moving. Hail. Is someone there? It doesn't move. It doesn't make a sound in response. My name is Eldon Burroughs. I've come from the south. I seek passage, nothing more. What's he talking to? I can't see. He's, he's looking for like a slit or something for people to... That are like looking through, or yeah, okay. So you're making make a spot check as your or a perception check as you're as you're having a look, like scanning around. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm, watching. I'm looking for someone who's like, someone's like, yeah, yeah, I see him, he's there, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, perceptionist. Uh, 
20. Okay. Um, you thought you might have seen a little bit of motion uh, in in this one building that has a... Um, it's a window that's kind of like wooden slats um, where there's a, a hinge along the top of the window. So you can kind of like mm -hmm. push the slat open and kind of uh, kind of peek out. Yeah. You, you thought you saw the the, the whole window um, uh, covering move a little bit, and then you hear this this sound that kind of goes. Wah! Give me a survival check. Okay. <laughs> it goes. Okay. It goes. Wah! <laughs> no, it's 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 more of a it's more of a. So, it sounds a like a creaky door. It's more of a bird sound. Okay, uh, twenty. It's a duck call. <laughs> can I can I do the call back? <laughs> uh, and then you hear it a little bit further down the road. <laughs> uh, El can Len hear this? Uh. Elden can land is a little bit too far back. Okay. Is it going to be the Duck Dynasty people in this place? That would be hilarious. <laughs> it's actually not a bad I mean, idea. You, I mean, you're wrong. <laughs> I, mean, I mean no harm. I need to make passage to the northwest. I just, I just seek passage. It's little halfling paladin sitting sitting on blink dog <laughs> on a bridge, <laughs> yelling at the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, how deep are these ravines, Marty? Okay, so you you yeah. have a look over and um, oh, you can see that there's um, rushing water from some of the sewers or perhaps even from some of the um, uh, the cistern system. Yeah. Uh, pouring into uh, into some of the the ravines, it, yeah. it maybe sixty to one hundred feet down where you are. Fuck. It's a bunch of jumbly, broken rocks and rubble down there. It doesn't look like a pleasant place to to fall down into. How about this way over there? That looks like some stuff has fallen in. Uh, it does look like there's some is. stuff falling in, and there is a plume of weird looking vapors. Okay. <laughs> that are coming out of that part of the uh, greenish vapors seem to just be rising up into the wind. Or actually, there is no wind today, so they're just slowly rising, rising up. That's a that's fart gas. If ever that's there was fart head. gas, that's fart gas. <laughs> so we'll call this uh, vapor plume. And then you are at the uh, the wooden bridge. I wish to speak with the woodman. Parley, I need to get through. Could you tell him that the woodman is called the carpenter? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he's yeah. called. He's called the carpenter. We were told. Hey, Elden, he's called the Carpenter! That would be the Carpenter I need to speak with. <laughs> Give me the diplomacy check. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have a weapon out. I'm, like, it's, my staff is on my lap. Because I don't have any of this. But... And then, Adam, can you roll a percentile to see if there's anything that decides to come out and... Just eat his butthole as you're yelling by the edge of a demon pit. <laughs> <laughs> you got her. <laughs> Forty nine. Okay, so it's not twenty or below. Actually, it's twenty five or below because uh, we're we're traveling. <clears throat> twenty. What's with the twenties? <laughs> what do you 20 want? Twenty diplomacy. What do you want, little knight? There are some holy men to the to the west of the city. They've been defending some holy ground. I need to reach them. We've had a fill of holy men. I want, I want no harm. I want, I need, I need nothing from 
I mean, I mean, I mean no harm to anyone here. I simply need to fulfill my mission and go across. We need to get far to the Saint's Shrine. Go away. Oh, we'll let down the drawbridge and let the blockhead have you. Please, I do not want to damage your statue. Okay, there seems to be whispering. Well, five, five is frustrated because he can't see what's going on. Yep. And stuff is happening. It's not just sitting around picking. So he's five, five is wandering forward. Okay. So, so the elf is wandering forward, which means Iggy is wandering forward, and also the familiar is wandering forward. Ventarin. Fuck my life. Ventarin's going forward. <laughs> okay. Chase is now following because the goblin's going forward. The whole group is marching up hey, behind should him. Should I come too? <laughs> <laughs> well, hurry up. Um, I okay. want to see. Oh shit! There's more of them. Uh, you you actually see Elden, a dude running out of kind of like a side, um, uh, a side building. He has this really curious thing on his head. Um, you know those tribal masks that make kind of like strange and they're kind of like flat, almost like they're wearing part of like a a, a tree trunk. Like tree yeah. bark, uh -huh. um, but yeah. this this thing's face looks like it's got a really big nose and kind of like expression like this. Okay, but but his mask isn't quite on. It's kind of like flopping around his neck as he's trying to run away. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, okay, so you you're you're now looking probably you know forty feet away from where this medium sized construct is standing. Give me a knowledge arcana. 32. It is a wood golem. Um, wood golems have standard construct uh, uh, traits. They are true golems in that they are immune to magic, immune to except magic. for uh, very specific spells. You need adamantine to really harm them, and um, the unfortunate thing about wood golems is that they are still made of wood. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm assuming a couple of alchemist firebombs which go through that whole magic community thing would just wreck the thing's face. Um, they, um... There's something, please. There's something about it can send out bursts of splinters all around it. That's there's probably really a reason why, why no one's standing right beside the thing. Um... Mr. Mr. Carpenter, sir, um, did you make the golem? I'm not the carpenter. You hear a voice from the building. Sorry. Um, we are looking to pass through. Um, there is a problem on the other side of town. Uh, and we are trying to gather resources to fight it. Okay. Apparently your numbers um, have gathered up what look like a dozen or so hefty looking men with axes wearing leather armor they're all wearing these kind of tribal masks uh, the masks look relatively new but made out of different types of wood and they are they're marching up right behind like down the street okay one of them steps forward what do you want we wish to pass. We wish passage through your district. We would also like to know if there's anything that you need in trade from defenders. Sovereign, not. please. Uh, I make it. I make it clear that I say sovereign, and they can hear mm -hmm. it. Sovereign, please. Allow me. <sighs> defenders' heart is to your south. There can be. There can be possible trade, if you will. The fighters paladins safe haven. We are from we are from there. We helped create that area. Then we need to move to the east to the west. I'm not from there. I'm from over there. <laughs> we will gather more allies. We are retaking back the city. Okay. You 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 you've given them words where they're they're obviously talking amongst themselves. You get the sense that None of them here might be the leader. <laughs> the, the the big one that, that, that spoke to you, not the one that went running from the building, um, uh, but the big one that spoke to you when the group arrived. 
You'll surrender your weapons. Agreed. Okay. Um, one of them does walk up behind the golem. And you can see he's got his hand on the back of the golem. Uh, he's interested in what he's doing. Yeah, How do like... I control the golem? <laughs> <laughs> Make okay. golem go okay. now. <laughs> All right. So, so you're 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 trying to you're trying to look to see what's going on uh, while others are are lowering their drawbridge, uh, which which Chase is labeled the Doodle Bridge, uh, and then um, five or six of them come scrambling across the bridge to take your weapons. Okay. Okay, Alden takes his uh, takes his sling, not not very comfortably, but does give it to one of them. Okay, uh, I think Elden also carries a. Oh, I do have a sword. All right, the, guy, the guys the guy's got the mm. sling staff. Your sword. Give me a sec. Um, I have a sling staff. A dagger and a short sword. Looks like you have two slings. Well, they might let you keep your dagger, but you do have two slings. Well, I have a masterwork master sling staff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, is Elden's war sling a sling or a sling staff? But no, it's a it's war a sling staff. Okay, yeah. yeah my, I have a masterwork sling staff. Yep. And then I have a war sling. Is, is a war sling different than a sling staff? This is. I don't I'm think so. Sure. I, I I think both of them are sling staffs. You might want to correct that. I think they're both sling staffs. Okay, yeah. so he takes both your sling staffs, your short sword, and you also hand over your dagger. Okay, so they're they're small to him. He's medium size, medium size guy. Um, I thought you also carried a magical blade. No, I gave that to uh, Ventarin. I think I gave that to Ventarin. The the uh, yeah, yeah the blade Vintarn, with, uh, Vintarn does have radiance. Okay. It changes it changes to your uh, god's weapon. Yeah, Lan. What is Lan? Lan's over? got a lot of shit. <laughs> Lan's, he's got a ching. He's just dropping weapons to the ground. Uh, Lan is a weapon, so he's not. He just likes his spear. Uh, he's got uh, a dagger, a crossbow, a spear. Two spears. He's <laughs> got two spears, a crossbow, and a dagger. All right. So wait, there's... didn't we have more spears? Where did they go? We had like how three many, other spears. How many spears are you carrying? <laughs> He's got two spears. I've I've only got a cold iron spear and a magic spear. Yeah, whatever's. I mean, they, they, they. The yeah, treasure two, I assume yeah. that you guys got was dropped off in your in your quarters back okay, in the Okay. Okay. Uh, so two spears, a crossbow, and a dagger. Yep. Uh, Phi, um, there, there's, there's a single guy that's carrying lands weapons. Phi, what are you handing over? Uh, I've got a masterwork long spear. Okay. And a club and a dagger, a magic dagger. All right. The, the, the guy does, does take it, and none of, the, none of the weapons are doing anything special when you're handing them over so far. So that's good. Ventarin. Uh, the, guy, will... the guy looks nervous. The 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 one that kind of got paired up with you looks really nervous about taking your weapons. Uh, 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 he's actually stammering underneath his weird mask. Do you wish for me to keep my weapons? On my honor, I will not draw. He he shakes his you head stand, no, but then looks you back. You stand before a sovereign. Just grab his weapons. You hear, you hear the big guy say. <sighs> uh, Ventarin will, will unsheath his magic bastard sword. Um, and that, we'll hand wait. it to him. Pommel first. Uh, yep. He, he will uh, unsheath his magic great sword. <laughs> <laughs> and lay it across. You get the it sense that this is like a 15-year-old kid hiding behind a wooden mask, holding on to yep. Paladin's weapons. Yep. Uh, and he will pull his bow off his back. Yeah, the kid's um, stammering. He might have a stutter. He's stammering. 
longbow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose this. And he pulls out Radiance, which is a heavy pick. Okay. He is looking to see if there's any ill effect, because I know if evil people hold it, it's bad for them. Yeah. Uh, the, the the beautiful weapon, he, he, he doesn't wield it. He's kind of carrying it in the big bundle, yeah. so it doesn't shift out of... Uh, it actually does shift. It shifts back into a longsword when, when you when you relinquish... Uh, uh, Control yeah, of it. Own, ownership of it. Let's see if this this guy is able to not drop your weapons all over the place. Um, oh, he he maintains his composure as I he, he turned into a sword. He yells out. Maybe it is the guy's a beside holy him? weapon of a paladin. As I said, do not lose it. Oh, oh. Uh, Chase doesn't carry any weapons. He's a tiny little uh, uh, fairy Dentaran, dragon. Dentaran, be nice to the kid. He might wet himself. <laughs> Icon carries um, the Orbit Stone, the plus one heavy mace, the Masterwork Dagger, and Masterwork Light Crossbow. So yeah, he hands over his weapons. Mm -hmm. Do they try to take Iggy's broom? No. Good. Iggy actually bent over a little bit. He's leaning on hey, it. He's, 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 actually, he's, he's actually brushing in in front of the master, and and they uh, they don't they don't seem to care about Iggy's good, groom. Good job, Iggy. They Later, do, when they do scramble across, they don't carry their weapons the entire way. They actually have a cart nearby, like a little hand cart. They kind of dump your weapons inside a hand cart, and then there a couple of the young guys are pulling the hand cart around. We'll take you to see the carpenter now. He'll know what to do with you. Thank you. This is a really nice golem. Oh, Shut yeah. Give me a perception up. check, because the, 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 the drawbridge is lowering now. Or, sorry, it's raising. Uh, and the guy, uh, after you guys have passed, is removing his hand from the back of the, uh, of the golem. Where do you grab the gold? Where do you touch the golem to make him do your bidding? Uh, twenty-three. There is a outline of a hand on the back of the golem, like like right right kind of like where the spine meets the uh, uh, meets the hip sort of thing. Um, and the dude's hand, he's got a wooden ring on one of his fingers. The golem kind of shudders a little bit everyone goes oh <laughs> like like they, they were like trying to shield their eyes and move, oh, no. move back from it uh, a couple of them are, are like trying to pretend that they're brave and not not try to shield be, their face it'd, it'd be fun to just fear them all ah, but no it's uh but the, uh, the, the golem does not attack anyone they they do leave quickly and then you've got this group of people that are escorting you through uh throughout the streets uh, it looks like some of the streets have fared well. Um, it does look like they're they're clean. Um, there are definitely people in the woodsman uh, in the woodman's market um, and in the buildings that you're passing through. They have um, made the main thoroughfare quite difficult to leave. You get the sense that they've fortified or or at least uh, barred all the doors that lead onto the main thoroughfare, and then they've clogged up all of the um, the side streets and alleyways along the main thoroughfare, so that there's only one place to walk. They're playing a tower defense game. That's how they're. <laughs> uh, there are people that are watching you from upper floors. That you get the sense uh, that they are armed, um, probably with crossbows, maybe even bows. All along this very long walk that they take you on. Okay, what time of day is this? Uh, it is now noon, and the heat is starting to become oppressive for anyone who's wearing medium or heavy armor. Is it better if I'm, like, part cold dragon? Because... <laughs> That makes it better, right? No. <laughs> uh, I don't take movement penalties from the armor. I right. 
So is that? Oops. No, we're we're starting we're starting to get into it's it's like I don't, it's I don't like a really to. warm day. You can see you can see the people up in up in the up in the rooms complaining about it. Um, a guy actually was in the street, kind of dunking his head into what looks like a trough, uh, while one other guy's laughing at him, saying, "Do you know where that water came from?" Um, you, you, you see that there are at least four other wood golems along the way that they're taking you. Like every hundred yards or so, there was... How, how many people are wearing the wooden ring? Mm, so far you've seen... Perception check. Alright. I would help you, but I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's because you have... A small mind and a big stick. Is that a problem? 17. In the group of people you're traveling with, one. But there seems to be a, a, a good number of defenders or armed people kind of nearby where the golems are. They also don't seem to be standing right beside the golem. Like the golem's in the street and... Nobody's standing near it. Well, uh, I, I can't. Do they have all of the normal golem stuff, including Berserk? No. Okay. Okay. Um, with your 32, you know about one of the spells. Uh, you know that Warp Wood slows it. Right. Alchemist bombs. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, I got it. Um. Uh, uh, really haven't done too bad. Um. You arrive at, at, at a central building uh, that does have a... Um, it's almost like a a longhouse feel to it. Very ornate. The The architecture is, is completely uh, different from the surrounding terrain. And we'll label this uh, the carpenter's log. Carpenter's lodge. And look at this reddish building that's in the middle here. It's kind of hard because it's pixelated, but... Uh, actually, no. This sil this long silver building, the Carpenter's Lodge. There are um, uh, there's some stairs that lead up. Um, you actually might think that part of this might be elvish design. They're kind of like, I like they're kind I... of like trees and leaves that have been carved into the wood. Uh, it's got a very organic uh, feel to it. The wood is not some some um, construction that you. Uh, or some type that you recognize immediately. And there are two elves in wooden armor standing in front, or uh, flanking the doorway that leads up there. They were chatting about something, but then they stop and they, they look at the, the big group of you that have arrived. Greetings. We're here for the we're here to speak with the carpenter. Is Marty yeah. frozen? Oh, there we go. No. The, one of them turns uh, the other and says, "An elven paladin." Yeah, it's a very short one. Uh, hold on. Um, damn it! <laughs> stupid again. A stupid character. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, if, if Fi does speak Elven, um, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, they were having they were having a rude yeah. conversation. <laughs> um, we represent the Defender's Heart, and are on an important excursion. The carpenter's busy. Perhaps we can help you, Sovereignborn. Yes, I think he's sovereignborn, and they kind of switch the el to Elven like they're having a little conversation on the side. All, yes, all they're jerkbutt elves. Fi's, Fi's embarrassed for his people. 
Because these are jerk butt elves. Not all we elves come, are jerk butts. <laughs> we, we, come from defend, we come from Defender's Hut. We seek to travel west. They're, they're both we male. Passage. Um, you would say that they're adult? Do I know them? <sighs> Knowledge local. Uh, this region still has the same local as before, or do I have to... Yeah, no, no, you, you, this region has the same local as before. Okay, uh, 19. Um, yep, you do know that there are two elves that live in this market. Like, they they, they, they live in... These are the two elves that live in this city. Uh, Liren is a druid, and Delve is a magus? Uh, and they're brothers. Liren, Liren, Delve, or is it Delve and Liren? You got it right the first time. Hmm. Fi? Uh, hmm. Well met, brother. And they're having a conversation in Elven while everyone else is standing around there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, you wouldn't have happened to have heard any word of the Seldar house, would you? Bit they, of bother. Sense motive. They give you a curious look and then they look at each other. Didn't you come from the Seldar House? Mm -hmm. Didn't you know that Seldar House was being completely demolished by demons as we speak? Uh, nine. Isn't Sense that where you live? S says Delve. 24 from Nina. Um, they're confused. And something might be wrong. Uh, I've been trying to work my way back there. I was swept away during the attack. Um, Terrandell of kind of fell on us. This is all in Elven? Yeah. Okay, I'll just like looking back and forth at you guys like... <laughs> Are we gonna fight for our lives? Are we gonna leave? <laughs> What's the situation? By the grace of the thing. by the grace of the Seldarine, it is Corlon that protects the Seldar house, is it not? Yes. And then with a twenty-four, I got Nina's. Maybe maybe might not might not think cynically. So no. Ah. Yeah. Uh, hmm. that good, is it? Mm -hmm. We've seen strange... We, we've seen and heard reports of strange lights in the, coming from the Seldar house. We know that it is protected by the gods of our people. It is, indeed. Some of those lights aren't necessarily godly, says Delve. Yes. But the gods are with us in this and troubling time. The gods of our people aren't the only ones protecting that place. Is it a little warm today? Did you make? Did you do something to the sun, Liren? No, I don't know those spells, brother. <laughs> I think we're being rude. <laughs> as, he, as he looks to the others. Oh, like... very, very much so. <laughs> There are some benches in the shade. Why don't you... This is the druid. Why Why don't you go and sit down in the shade with the others? There. I don't think that was... I, I think that worked. See, who's he talking that to us? That is awesome. They're, both, they're two charisma dubstat elves that are just like... Are they, are they talking to us? Yeah, they, they, yep. yeah. when they were talking literally and, and we... figuratively down at you, uh, literally because they're standing up on steps uh, higher than where you're standing, and then... And, and I'm short. And you're short, yep. <clears throat> Fine. Please explain that we need to leave as soon as possible. Right, but first we're going to need to speak with the carpenter, and the carpenter's busy. We don't need to speak with the carpenter. It was a sign of respect for us to come here, but we are losing time. If we do not make it there, we're going we're gonna to have to fight the demons. We need to hurry. Explain this, please. Uh, 
the saints, the the demons that come out of the gash in Saintsboro. Saintsboro, ah, oh, you don't want yes. to be going there, friend. They're gonna push their human gods on you. Uh, we are carrying a less than goodly artifact that we need to store on holy ground. Um, we don't want to store it here. We'd like to store it there. We need to leave as soon as... Are they speaking in Elven right now, or...? Elven. What do you mean? Okay. He, they look around, and they unfortunately continue in Elven. What do you mean, artifact? Uh, several of the... Um, of the storage sites of the uh, Crusaders had been raided of some of the evil things that the humans were unable to destroy due to their lack of Liren's face skill. just scrunches up. He looks angry. So you bring cursed artifacts here? No, well, we're trying to bring them, and he's sort of pointing towards the Saints, bro, there. <laughs> I don't think the copper does time for this. No, he's busy carving. Very well. We'll escort you to the edge uh, of the woodsman market. Excellent. Excellent. All right. I wouldn't go anywhere near the Crusaders' parade grounds. The demons are having some fun over there. I hear they're forcing people to fight their own. Which language is this in? Um, common. What kind of demons? Demons that are powerful enough to make people fight their own. Elden Elden's looks very angry. We'll get to them. We'll, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> the fighting subsided no. a little bit. It was worse in the first few days. <sighs> Apparently they've they've got more sport and and they look over their shoulder to like the obvious storm in the distance that is now even you know kind of just sort of a dirty smudge on the horizon like 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 there must be <clears throat> fighting and all sorts of things going on in the capital right now, which is yeah. probably why you haven't heard from the capital or they haven't marched an army up here yet. Yeah, yeah. they're busy. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Fi is going to take a moment to uh, turn his two unprepared first circle extracts into inter elements. Okay. How long does this take? Two minutes. Thirty. -ish. Okay. Stick him. Oh, so, a minute. -y. Yeah. So, so they watch you. Delve actually leans over his shoulder and says, "Alchemist." Ah, he actually tells Liren what you are. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't need the Sovereign Board keeling over from Heatstroke. Ah, yeah. It's, and the other one's for me if I start to feel faint. <laughs> it is definitely warm today. What language? Uh, he quite uh, literally has... A, common, uh, for, for this part. Yeah. Yeah. It's warm, but it's warm because... <sighs> the land has changed. Well, we no longer. this is Lyran. Correct. This is now officially the world wound. Sorry, this is now officially the world wound. We will push it back. That's why we need to hurry. Delve actually nods to the Sovereign Born. Liren doesn't seem to seem as sure. No Liren one cares about that. I <laughs> like Liren and Delve. Let's do this. Child. Uh, you get, you're getting written on my character sheet, Liren and Delve. <laughs> Why do you have a child with a dog? Damn it. I'm a fighter. <laughs> he, he says, Delve says, good thing you cast and uh, elements on us this morning. Yes, I saw that. I saw I saw this heat, heat, this heat wave coming from a mile away. I will um, hand an extract to uh, to Ventarin to drink. He drinks it. 
Okay. Um, I'll keep the other one in case anybody else starts to feel hoozy or faint. Were you oh. the same blokes that went over into the South Sword District? Yes. That was us. I wonder if they can find us some of that special wood. I don't know if the holy types want to chop up such a tree. Maybe the tree is already chopped up. That, that Which was an tree? <laughs> Which uh, tree do you refer to? <laughs> Liren says, There is a tree that has been blessed by many of the goodly human gods. Hmm. Many of the places of sanctuary have been despoiled and defiled. However, the carpenter and I, and I suppose Delve, by extension, thanks, um, <laughs> might have use for some of the wood from this tree. Where is this tree located? Uh, I need a good tree. Uh... Don't you think the demons would have destroyed it already? It is called Heaven's Birch. Apparently, um, a long time ago, some priest of some saint or whatnot, says Liren, um, visited Heaven, or he conjured an angel that came down from Heaven, and he was gifted a small plant, and that plant turned into the Heaven's Birch. The Heaven's Birch was, well, growing stoutly in a um, small garden right smack in the middle of Saintsboro. It's Why right in the middle of the... Um, if it still exists, we can definitely take some for you, but... Hmm. Do How you much do know you need? what a golem is? <laughs> Says the mages to to all of you, like he's he's speaking in common, but he's speaking down to you. It, F Fi is actually going to turn with the other elves to look to see if anybody like knows uh, any anyone. <laughs> actually, I think uh, Ventarin has a chance because I think he's got a rank in Old Arcana. Do you? He I bet you the goblin doesn't know. Oh, uh, master. Ventarin gets a five, so no, the Ventarin doesn't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the line. No, no, I don't know either. Uh, <laughs> he's nope, got absolutely. a bunch of professions, and yeah, he, he would he would have a rank in knowledge. I didn't put to his skills, but he, it's one of his class skills. I would put a rank in all the class skills. So yeah, hmm. he has at least one. So. I will roll as if he had one. Uh, ten? Ten? See. Well, golems are made of special materials. And the more special the material, the more special the golem is. If we could make, oh, I don't know, a few fingers or a fist out of the heavens, Birch. The ah, carpenter you'd be smiting... Have... You could smite the demons. More likely get through their innate <laughs> evil skin, but... I think we're getting through to the paladin, yeah. Mm, I could make a staff from it. A spear. Uh, well, I suppose you could make such a small and paltry weapon with the remainders out of it, but, um, yes. We but don't you want this to... Con Why would you kill the tree? If you could or find just a, sig a little bit. significant portion of the Heaven's Birch, I'm sure the carpenter would be willing to craft a few arrows or maybe a staff with the remaining bits of it for you. All right, we'll do our best. We'll keep an eye out for it. If, if we find the holy tree, we will do... We will return it if we could. Twenty-two. I think that was a bargain. Yes, coming from paladins and sovereignborn. That was easier than I thought. Fi is just gonna <laughs> let him get screwed. 
that was it, no. Elvin. <laughs> yep. You, you can uh, kind of hear the... the, the, the yeah, if I knows, yep. The 22 on the Knowledge Local? Yep. Yeah, that was that 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 tree was in cons- that that tree was growing in consecrated ground. Um, you're almost guessing now. Did the tree create the consecrated ground? If it was mm-hmm. a, a seedling from heaven, and it was it was by the All Saints Shrine. Um, it's smack dab middle in the Saintsboro. It's... Um. Like I don't know, like where the North yeah, Borough, it, it, their, their lines here. It's, I guess it's somewhere, somewhere where the the big river <sighs> is. Maybe got blown into many bits. We could find one of the bits. <laughs> here we are, my friends, the edge of the um, of the marketplace. Please don't come back here with evil artifacts. <laughs> well, um, mm. you're lucky you didn't say that at at the edge of our territory. It's taken us quite a bit to get the record demons out of here. Ah, there was a whole horde of them, and they sure like to wreck things. Well, that's why they're called record demons. I knew that. You'd think that it'd be a little bit more creative in the naming. I suppose it's practical. I don't think they named themselves record demons. No, probably not. I was referring to the humans who named them, but fair enough. Ah, yes. Humans tend to be quite literal, or they have really weird stories about things. Hmm. Weird stories are the best stories. We look forward to you returning with some of the heavens, Birch. Uh, Thank you for the conversation. Mm. Uh, Carpenter's going to be really happy when we tell him that he'll he'll add that to his... um, to his wood goliath yes knowledge wood goliath (laughs) (laughs) oh 17 yeah they're Mm. just using it might be just a proper name that's just a big golem i think it'll be a golem he's making another golem this one's called goliath last one was called stumpy um Okay. They um they, uh, they we get, we get our weapons the, back. Oh uh, yeah, they the the yeah. little the two sweating lads uh, behind their their spooky masks um um are carting your weapons. The one guy picks up the 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 blade and 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 almost uh, uh ca- like super carefully gives it back to Okay. With, with great Ventarn- reverence gives it back to uh Ventarn. Ventarn will take yeah. it and shift back into a heavy pick. Okay, he 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 all, he's like really watching for that particular. He actually pushes up his mask at that point in time. Where did you find it? Is that a crusader weapon? Indeed, it fell into the hand of the other paladin, Elden Burrows. Wow. He is more adept with his sling. I am more of the bruiser. Is that a Vorpal weapon? Not unless you're evil. (laughs) Yeah, he's saying... Anyone with knowledge or cana, like, their ears prick up when... Yeah. Uh, So, Ventarn gets a 20. He likely knows what Vorpal means. Fi gets a 31. He he knows what Vorpal means. Yep. The kid the doesn't pops know what purple is. It's just a word that yep. he heard. It's it is very damaging to demons and the like. Ah, huh. uh, they tell stories of uh, of a demon with a purple weapon. Cuts off people's heads. You probably shouldn't be talking about the Baylors like that. You should. Where are these demons? As as Fi is picking up his like masterwork spear and he, his. He points nodding. down the road to the Crusaders 
the Crusader parade grounds. They have mobile make, weapons? Look at all the heads a, that are on the walls. There's something in there. The elf said it. The, 